I'm Mary Lynn Whipple, and I chose to do my NYP project in the form of a stop-motion animation video. For my topic, I chose to explore negative and positive self-image and the different impacts they have on people's lives. My inspiration was the many people I know that struggled or have struggled with negative self-image, as well as myself. I have been interested in filmmaking for a long time as well. The global context that goes along with my project is personal and cultural expression. Self-image, or the way people see themselves, is a large portion of the way they express themselves. This approach to learning is one where students can express their thoughts in creative ways of their choice. My mentor played a pretty significant role in my project. He gave me a lot of helpful feedback and ideas that I wouldn't have thought of by myself. My mentor also made sure I stayed on track with my project and finished each part when I planned to. My process. Firstly, I decided on a topic, presentation style, and global context. Afterwards, I did research. Then, I put my thoughts together in a research paper. Afterwards, I made a foolproof plan on how to make my short film. Lastly, I bought the supplies and made the video. There were also many challenges I had to resolve. One of those challenges was that supplies were costly, so I had to borrow some from friends and neighbors. Then I saved up to buy the rest. I had trouble putting my thoughts together into one plot for the video, but my mentor helped me out. Filming was hard at first because I had never made a stop motion animation video, but practice made perfect. There were also other costs I incurred. Some of the supply costs were making characters, building sets, and buying software to put the video together. Some personal costs that I incurred were having to spend many nights working instead of going out with friends. I gained many benefits from completing this project. I learned a lot about my topic that made me wonder if I'd like to study it more in the future. I also got to express my ideas in a way I've always wanted to. Making films like this will be easier for me in the future because I learned from my mistakes. To conclude, I had a surprising amount of fun doing this project and would definitely do something like it again. I think next time I would start on my product a lot earlier so that I could have more time to perfect it. I would advise underclassmen to do the same.
Thank <laughs> you.